How are you, Stuart? Hungover. <laughs> <laughs> the tour hasn't actually started yet, has it? No, no, it doesn't start until the 1st of October. So it was just a private celebration? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. It's before the, uh, the rugged rehearsals start. Ah. Which, uh, will probably be this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, do you want to tell me about the new album? Well, starting with the name that I'm having trouble pronouncing, Aesthesis. Aesthesis. What, what, what exactly does it mean? <laughs> uh, okay, that's a tough one to kind of explain. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to Google the meaning and we're going to go from there. <laughs> well, at least one of us has got internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. It is. An unelaborated elementary awareness of stimulation. Wow. Whoa. That is actually really, that's a very enticing name. Yeah, yeah. It's quite uh, cryptic, isn't it? (laughs) Can I ask, with um, writing and that, is the whole band involved in the writing process? Yeah, except for lyrics. That's that's all Kim. Yeah. He's he's, he's our wordsmith. Does the music come first or the lyrics? Um, Actually, this time around, a lot of... A lot of the melody and stuff came first, like vocal melodies, mm-hmm. and then we worked around it. But it, it can it can happen either way. Sometimes it'll just be one loop, one piece of music, four bars, and then if Kim can sing something over it, we roll with it and see if we can find the next bit. Right. And just keep digging, keep digging for gold. Well, you've been going about five or six years, haven't you? Uh, it's actually close to ten. Ten. Yeah. Oh, that magic 10 where you, you break through after 10 years of a hard slog. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's happening for you guys. It's I mean, it is, isn't it? You're doing Soundwave. Yeah, that's pretty epic. And you're about to tour with America's 10 years as well with the new album that you've got out, and they've got a new album. Yes, yes. We're bringing them over here, and then they're taking us over there. All right. So you are going to go and tour America with them? Yes. Yeah. Uh,. Not sure. We don't have anything locked in yet, but we're definitely in talks about it. Right. But you guys, you've been to America in the last couple of years, haven't you? Yes. I think the last time was yeah, probably closer to two years ago, yeah. But uh, we've done some extensive touring through America. Is America like the target market next? Are you going to keep Europe for later? or We'll be hitting Europe as well. We've been to Europe a couple of times. All we'll right. definitely be focusing some attention there because it's such an awesome place. Well, then with having played shows over the season that, in different territories and you are very much an Australian band. Do you intend to stay an Australian band or is there a thought that maybe one day you'll relocate? I think we'll stay an Australian band. Right. I can't, I can't imagine relocating. Yeah. Unless something goes crazy, crazy epic over there. I think it works for us to be to stay in Australia and then work out from here. Speaking of crazy epic and that, I mean, this album did really well in the ARIA charts. Yeah, it's our third uh, number two ARIA debut. All right. So we're consistent. Right. I've already forgot um, the meaning of the name of the album. Thesis is an unelaborated elementary awareness of stimulation. Is that what the sort of theme running through the album was when you were writing it, or did someone think that the album just I felt th- stimulating and that they should name it that? I think, yeah, I think the latter. I think Thesis definitely was thrown around after the album was kind of written, towards the end anyway. What about when it comes to artwork and stuff with Dead Letter Circus? Do you guys do that in-house or do you get someone else? No, no, uh, Kim reached out to a guy in Brazil, I believe. Mm. He'd been back and forth for a while, just throwing ideas around, just trying to think of simple icons, and, uh, and the heart came up. Awesome. Well, you guys, I've spoken to Kim and Luke in the past, and both of them still had other jobs at the time. Have you guys been able to actually leave behind your day jobs or your other part-time jobs? Uh, I, I still work every now and then to, just to put money in the bank so I can buy myself nice things. Mm-hmm. But let's hope after this tour we're a bit more financially stable. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I think you guys definitely deserve it. This is a really atmospheric, like sit back and just relax and listen or feel the music even, not just listen to it. Is that what you yeah, were okay. going for in the writing? I think after a few songs popped out, we kind of ran with a the theme and just made it work. It all glued together as an album. I don't know if that was, that wasn't in mind from the start. It just kind of happened that way, I think. Right. And have you actually been performing any of the tracks off of the album live yet? Uh, we have, yes. Uh, we've thrown a couple in. I think While You Wait. And uh, oh, I can't think of the other one. I can only think of its working title for someone. But we're gonna we're gonna throw in another few new ones in there as well, which we'll be rehearsing up over the next week or so. And so, do they feel like when you're performing your older tracks and you're putting your new ones in, do they all sort of 
feel like they flow together still? Yeah, well, that, that's, that's the art. You have to do your setup so that you know old songs flow into new and, and vice versa. Mm. But uh, at the moment, the, the two songs we have in now are working really well. Awesome. And that was you with Kim on guest programming Rage, wasn't it? No, that was Vinny. Oh, Vinny. All oh, right. Yeah. Did you guys all get a say in the music chosen or did they choose it all? No, those two guys chose that. But we've done that a few times before, so on that list, it's a similar list to the last couple of times we did it. <laughs> you need to get out more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> so the album is actually, it is released, as you said, it debuted at number two, and you have the tour coming up. You're actually coming to Ballarat. Unfortunately, you're not bringing 10 years to Ballarat with you, but you are coming to Ballarat. Yes, it is on October 7th. October the Grover Lounge, and we'll have Guards of May with us on that one. Yeah. Our friends from Brisbane. Yeah, I've seen Guards of May, actually. They're quite good. Yeah. Yeah. And they're doing the 10 years shows as well with you. Yeah. Ballarat actually misses 10 years, but 10 years jump on next show, Bendigo. Yeah. It is going to be a great show, and hopefully, you know, if people will get there early, because you probably, having just the two bands coming here, you will have a local band probably open for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure who that is yet. No. Now, your website, if people go to deadlettercircus.com, they will find links to all your social media there as well as information on the tour and where to get hold of the album. It's all there, yes. Are you putting the album out on vinyl? Yes, the release vinyls, yes. Is there something you would like to actually say to the fans to, you know, get them to come and see your show or buy the new album? Oh, look, give it a chance and come to the show, buy the album, learn the lyrics and sing along at the shows. So how long is this tour actually lasting? Well, it kicks off on October 1st. We're over in WA and then we finish off at the Trifford in Brisbane on the 24th of October. And then we have a few weeks off and then we head over to New Zealand for a few dates in November. Mm. Have you played New Zealand before? Yeah, we actually were over there a few months ago with some friends of ours, I Am Giant. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's around, and uh, it was awesome. We're going back. Part of our circuit now. Was it the 10th of October you're in Ballarat? It was the, 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 the 7th. The 7th. <laughs> Wednesday night is a good night in Ballarat because all the uni students go out. Excellent. <laughs> it's going to be a great night. And can I ask what night it is you're in Melbourne too? Melbourne is the forum on the 10th. And that is with 10 years with and 10 years. Guards of May. Yeah, yeah, it's a line-up. Can I ask, actually, then, seeing as you are hosting 10 years here, are they going to be the headlining band or are you? Oh, uh, no, we're the headlining band over here. So yeah. 10 years are on before you? Yeah. Right, awesome. And so how long before you actually do get on a plane and head overseas? Uh, possibly January, I would say. January. Yeah, nothing locked in, but I'd say around January. Right. I will let you go. It has been absolutely awesome talking to you. Oh, you too. Thanks. The album is Asthesis. That's it. And it is available now on CD and vinyl, and Dead Letter Circus are touring with 10 years, and it's probably going to be a few months before we see a national tour from Dead Letter Circus again, isn't it? Uh, yes, I have to say, yeah. So people should definitely get out and see this, and also, well, 10 years and Guards of May, you can't go wrong. It's going to be a great night. It is. and It'll be a great tour. Definitely, and I'm going to come down to Corova Lounge and say hello to you and hopefully get up to Melbourne as well to see it. Yeah, great. And I will say once again, deadlettercircus.com to find out everything you need to know and make sure you grab hold of that album. And I do definitely look forward to seeing you in Ballarat on the 7th of October. For sure. I want, I want my album signed, actually. Yeah, yeah, bring it up. Awesome. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no worries. Bye. See you in Ballarat. Yep, bye. bye.